welcome to my views and news uh, wednesday's first video of yours first new story is from tegrai shocking new story from tegrai where reportedly police fired tear gas at disabled soldiers who protested yesterday what happened there why did the protest and uh, is this incident linked to internal split within the tplf between gata chaurida and uh, alim gabriel wahid secondly viewers pm rb has written a new book which is being sold uh, uh, regional states are organizing fund raising programs where this book is being bought by businessmen and investors yesterday a business lady bought this book for 50000 euros and thirdly viewers eritrea where for the first time a street bazaar a street market uh, was opened on saturday firstly viewers tegrai where uh, on tuesday a demonstration was held outside uh, makale city there is a center where injured uh, tegrai defense force soldiers are treated malas campus uh, center for the treatment of injured soldiers is the name of this place and yesterday uh, hundreds of tegrai fighters they came out of this building and they started their march towards tegrai government headquarter now what is shocking is that police fired tear gas at them police tried to disperse them police tried to stop them from heading towards tegrai administration office now it has been confirmed several sources are confirming that police did fire tear gas at them and uh, they uh, are injured people some partially paralyzed some have lost their limbs uh, several were seen walking with uh, the support of sticks and crutches but still police fired tear gas at them which must be condemned somehow they managed to reach uh, tegrai uh, administration office seat of tegrai government where religious leaders mediated they talked to military commanders reportedly they met with gata chaurida as well what are their complaints <clears throat> sorry they complained that they were not being provided with adequate food water proper health care was not being ensured at the center and they leveled accusations of corruption too they said the funds being raised donations being collected in their names were being misappropriated issue has largely been resolved for the time being uh, and some people say this issue is linked to gatacho alim gabre wahid uh, disagreements which were reported a few days ago and that is why tear gas was fired and attempt is being made to weaken gatacho das government i have no information that this uh, protest is linked to the division within the party tplf but what happened at uh, the center when police fired tear gas should be condemned it shouldn't have happened these are injured soldiers they need special attention tegrai is in the process of healing of its wounds these people fought for tegrai fought for the people of tegrai fought for this government fought for this party now they have right to protest why is this right being denied i think tegrai government should order an inquiry 
into the firing of tear gas. Who fired tear gas? Who ordered the firing of tear gas? Tigray government should hold security forces accountable. Otherwise, you will see what we are seeing in other regions of Ethiopia. Security forces are above law. They are killing people in broad daylight. No one uh, is holding them, them accountable. And if you remember what happened after the capture of Asmara by Eritrean soldiers, they protested. And back then, I think Kassas Havaki ordered shooting and police uh, security forces opened fire at Eritrean fighters who protested back then. So, uh, if situation is not controlled in Tigray, we could see more anger, more resentment. People are angry, definitely, because I have been reporting that a lot needs to be done in Tigray. There must be establishment of interim government as soon as possible. Otherwise, this frustration will build up. It will be difficult for Tigray government to handle the emotions, uh, the resentment, the anger of the people of Tigray. <laughs> Secondly, was PM Abi has written another book, Madaver Generation is the name of this book, I think, and the book is now being sold. Regional governments are organizing uh, book selling programs where PM Abi's book is being sold. Large sums of money are being raised at these book uh, uh, selling uh, programs. Oromia regional government organized such a program yesterday, I think, and 600 million, more than 600 million euros were raised. One investor bought this book for $50,000. Her name is Barakat uh, Gebirawa. You can see uh, the lady with Romia region's president. She is an investor, a businesswoman, reportedly. Other regions are also uh, organizing fundraising activities. PM Abi has written several books. Now, what it what, what is being said is that this money raised will be spent on charity. Uh, though we have not seen announcement of formation of any committee who will monitor, who will be responsible for auditing, for collection of this money. So it will be uh, PM Abhi's, it will be at PM Abhi's disposal to decide where this money should be spent. By the way, uh, leaders write books uh, sometimes because they want to write books. Uh, they have ideas to share with people. And it is a way of earning money as well, viewers. Because leaders' books, rulers' books are sold like hotcakes. Investors invest, businessmen, uh, politicians, uh, celebrities all invest uh, through buying these books. It, it's a way of getting close to, it's a way of building relations with the elite, with the writer of the book. That is why books are bought. Books are sold like hot cakes. So let's see where this money will be spent. Lastly, we was Eritrea where uh, a street bazaar was held for the first time. It was held, it was organized in Asmara on Freedom Street. Pictures are being shared from Asmara uh, showing uh, sellers and purchasers uh, buying uh, items. Uh, open market uh, is not what is commonly seen in Eritrea and Asmara especially. 
this is the first time that uh, an open market has been seen in the capital city. Several uh, companies uh, displayed their items at this bazaar. Uh, I uh, have seen several Tigrayan sources, uh, Tigrayan news sources sharing this news. They say that the items, the properties looted from Tigray are now being sold in Asman. We are not in a position to verify or reject this claim of Tigrayan news outlets. Uh, but maybe Saasevoki is going to make some changes uh, to the economy. Uh, though this is not any revolutionary change, uh, people uh, in diaspora, they want him to open up the economy, to make it more transparent, so that people from outside can invest. So far, he is opening open markets. Uh, let's see, will he agree to opening up the market of the economy or not? Thank you for watching.